Hey guys, Jessica back here with IELTS Energy and I thought I would give you a sample brainstorm today. Um, we always have students asking us about um, how to come up with specific ideas and what should I put in these body paragraphs and how long should I take to brainstorm. So I thought I would just give you a sample of my own brainstorm. Okay, now. The following brainstorm I did in five minutes. That is how long you should brainstorm. Um, sometimes you can brainstorm for a little longer if that is your process, okay? But that means you have a shorter time for writing, so figure out what strategy works for you. I usually brainstorm five to seven minutes, okay, in writing task two, all right? Remember, the more specific the brainstorm, the better, and only brainstorm what you need for a paragraph. Do not brainstorm more than that. It is a waste of time. Okay, so the question we are practicing today, in some countries, people's eating habits are causing increased rates of obesity and related health problems. The government must step in to help control the situation. How far do you agree or disagree? All right, so there's the task to question. Now, um, a tip here, guys. In this question, it's not asking you to comment about fast food, all right? That's not the opinion. Read the question carefully. The opinion is about the government stepping in to control people's eating habits. That's the opinion we're discussing. We're not talking about the advantages and disadvantages of fast food. So remember, read the question carefully. Identify, underline what you are asked to agree or disagree with. Now. As with every question that says agree or disagree, I will write an argument essay. It's quicker, it's higher scoring, it's more balanced. So in paragraph two, I would discuss the side that said that uh, governments should not step in, okay? Um, the reason being people are free to choose their own food. This is a basic human right. We can choose what we eat. The examples and details to support this. Um, health curriculums in 90% of developed countries include um, uh, classes about nutrition and balanced meals. Now, again, I don't know if it's true. <laughs> I wish it were. Um, so, but that's a good, strong, specific statistic to put in. And then I would say, um, therefore, adults have, uh, they do possess the knowledge to choose what is healthy for them. All right. And the, the second detail example would be, um, if, uh, if these people are making these choices, they are punishing themselves. They are the victims of their bad choices. They are the ones experiencing these health problems. Okay, so they're punishing themselves. They're taking care of um, the, uh, feeling the detriments of their poor nutritional choices. For example, diabetes, um, blood circulation issues, obesity, of course, uh, and this leads to mobility problems. So these are very specific health problems I could name to show vocabulary about this topic. And then third paragraph, which is my opinion, I would say, Nevertheless, <laughs> um, I am of the opinion that governments should definitely step in to control this problem, to help stem this problem. Um, not only are the unwell suffering, but all citizens of these nations are paying as well. They are footing the bill. They are paying the price for other people's poor nutritional choices. Um, Example slash detail, in the United States, insurance weight, uh, rates are rising by a whopping 15% every quarter. Again, not exactly true, but it doesn't matter. Um, uh, so even those who are healthy are only visiting the doctor once a year, they are still paying higher rates of insurance every year um, because they have to cover for other people's um, uh, health uh, treatments, okay? Um, the second detail example, it's not just the insurance premiums that are going up, but our taxes are going up as well because it is the uninsured um, sick people who are costing taxpayers money. We are covering 
for hospitalization bills, um, pharmaceutical costs, um, surgeries in some points, emergency room visits, urgent care visits. We're covering all of these things. Um, and this all takes federal money um, away from uh, other things that could really use it, such as education and infrastructure. Okay, so these are very um, specific details and examples to prove both sides. Again, this is all I need to brainstorm. These, This is enough for both paragraphs two and three. Okay, um, so watch this video a couple times. Please take note on any specific and interesting health-related vocabulary. If you don't know what it means, look it up learn new words and then practice brainstorming for this question yourself and that's it today i talked fast i had a lot of stuff to share so again watch this a couple times and have a wonderful day